finish the reading over here, guys. Well, anyways, you're dealing with a couple of bozos or whatever, um, these people that are on your trail. Um, some of these people are old people or new people. This person, you didn't know that this person, like, psycholog psycholog psychologically was dealing with these sort of mental issue problems. This person may carry a straight face, act as though they're calm, they're a peaceful person or something of that nature, but they're not or whatever. This person is sick. If this is even a, a recent person or old person, these people are sick. These could even be people that have, you know, um, carried out like, like, um, or came off or, you know, was able to work a job or have a business or something of that nature. Like, even though this person looked like they're a normal person, they're not. I mean, like, mentally, they're not. Mentally, they're not. And one scenario is from, it's a man that's doing this that could be coming towards you that you may have, you know, kind of talked to sparingly, you know, off and on. Y'all really haven't been into no major connection like, this person left you, again, we stayed for, or, you know, decided not to deal with you and, or went back to an ex or something of that nature. But this person got entrapped with this ex or whatever, all to find out that it's really nothing that they've been doing the whole time, but having sex or whatever, like, you know, um, it wasn't no meaningful relationship. This person have is at their wits ends because this person, the karmic will have turned and it is not turning in their favor. Like whatever this person have been doing for years or whatever, it's starting to catch up and it's not good. This person even used to cut charm women and all of that. And they use their private part to get what they wanted because, you know, maybe it was a good size or something of that nature. But the karmic will is not turning in this person's favor. And they are mad or whatever. Or, you know, they're trying to put their blame of what they should have fixed a long time ago. And it was their mental issues, their childhood traumas. You know, not having a mother or father or whatever, they want someone to blame because everything is tumbling down for them. Like, nothing is working out for this person. Well, this person linked up, checked up, got with this other person, and is, you know, the will is not looking good at this particular moment. And by no, all means necessary, this person do not, the karmic that they chose, this person don't want to, like, for some odd reason, go and live in the house with this person or could maybe be a, you know, that's what they had decided. Or this person is, like, just trying to keep from committing fully to a person, a situation. Like, this is something that they're not used to doing. They want to be able to have their room and their space to be able to cheat or keep their little... I don't know what it is. I don't know if this person is down low. I don't know if this person is confused. Don't know if they want a man or a woman. I don't know. They got hidden demons in their closet. And they are refusing to heal them. And so they are at their last wit's end. And so they could be coming in, charging in on you. You may receive a text or a call or something of that nature, you know, and you're going to be looking at it like crazy, like, because, you know, it's going to sound like crazy, like, because you're like, listen, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, you know, a part of what you're going through. Like, to make a long story short, you chose to go that direction when 
we were, you know, basically just getting to know each other. We don't even for you to text me or call me and say something like this, you know, or whatever is going to come out their mouth is going to be weird. Like you owe them something or like y'all been together for years or like y'all know each other or like y'all just split a couple of days ago from a long uh, decade, years, about 10 years of a relationship and y'all just, you know, got mad at each other and this person left it. No, it's not that type of situation. This person was dealing with other people and want to come back and make you look like or make you out to be the person that they've been all this time and wouldn't look at themselves. They kept doing it, kept digging, 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 digging to the whole God, literally deep, you know, not thinking, not, you know, just doing what they wanted to, thought they ruled something, thought they had control. This person, for that matter, didn't even have control over their life or whatever. Their life have been all over the place. You know, this person may have held a job, but they're, they've always been in lack or used someone to help benefit their lifestyle of what they were living. And they were able to do that before, but it's not happening now. It's not happening now. And they are mad. They are mad, mad, and um, they chose a Cormac where I don't know if this Cormac is pregnant or not, or what's been going on with them in this Cormac, but like whatever deal they took or whatever to do with this Cormac, it wasn't what they thought. And they are pissed and um, the court can't even help them for this matter. It's almost like a situation where um, it's a sex addict that you're dealing with. This sex addict, you know, have to start looking at their shadow side. And they, this person, one of the persons that they've been messing with for all this time, they end up having to be stuck with this person because they start losing things. And this is the only person that, you know, would pretty much let them take control of them and everything to do with them. This is the person that will be at beck and call at any time. And woo, woo, woo. So this person, you know, decides to spend most of their time with this person and all to find out that this person that's all this person ever wanted. This person had been playing witch, putting witchcraft on them, having things to cipher out of this person's life anyway, because both of them need healing. And the only common denomination that this these two people have is sex and being on a low vibration, being codependent, really looking for love, can't see past gold, basically, you know, seeing like just the five fingers that's waving in front of them instead of looking outside the box or even searching to see where there could be other avenues for them to go. No, they just wanted to stay right in their face and one track minded and all of this. And so this person now is coming back trying to, you know, make you be the fault of what their situation is, but it's almost like you have nothing to do with it. Basically, this could have been a person that you would, you know, y'all basically were friends or would see each other sometime. Something like that. And this person choose not to clean up their life. Okay. And now they're stuck. Um, and they're being made to sit down and look at themselves. This person could have even been dipping and dabbing in drugs or they like to drink or smoke weed, something. They had all these addictions, sex, smoking, drinking, gambling, all of this stuff, and just refusing not, and for all these years, been able to get away with these things because 
people would be at their beck and call from, I guess, maybe the way they would put it down in the bedroom or something. I don't know, but they're losing all avenue, have lost all avenues, like is literally getting yanked down off that horse to the ground to sit there in their poop. And this person is furious and one and is charging at everybody. Everything's been false around them. Everything's been fake. Everything they've been told, how they were made to see things, even people in their family and all of that, they are starting to realize that it was never the proper way that I should have been going. I've been going in the wrong direction all this time. And so you could be a person that, you know, is basically trying to get your life on track or doing the right things and, you know, you like your peace and you stay out of situations and, you know, you kind of try to keep yourself at bay, you know, with situations. And this person knows that. But de even dealing with this person, some of their stuff could have even started spewing over into your situation where you're like, damn, you know, this don't happen like this every day. Like, you know, and you could have, like, it could have even done effect, effected, effect, effected, like, some of the things that you had going on in your life as far as your finances or your job or something of that nature. And it's this person you've been dealing with and their energy and their spirit. If not that situation, it's a female from, you know, that could have been not even like a friend, but they were a friend of a friend or they knew you uh, something. This person always had it out for you. Just jealous for no reason. Always one to point blame on you. Just picked you out, hand picked you and always then had an issue with you or whatever. But this person could be a person that do like to go both ways. Maybe the friend that they were friends with was you kind of dealt with that friend and all the time or come to find out or you've been knowing that them and their friend have been being together and they're the same sex or something of that nature. But anyways, these people are saying things and you're moving forward, even if you know, you are experiencing losses like, you know, things are going to pick back up. You could be like, you know, like in a place and space of where you're saying like, damn, like, why is this happening or whatever, whatever. God is getting rid of it so he can elevate you to your next level up. And so you got these bozo clowns, Cormac bozo clowns coming for you. Maybe even if you denied someone, they could have asked you for a favor. They want to come at you. Um, because maybe you're experiencing some type of situation too. And you can't even like, you can't help them. Like you may need help too, or something of that nature. And this person feels, knows that all the time you usually have it and they feel that you're just telling them no to be mean, but they want to come for you for that. You're dealing with a person as such as well, but this other person or whatever is seeing like your true talents starting to flourish or be put out, you know, and you know, it's just the beginning of it. And you know, they thinking that it's something for that to be out, but this is a person that basically they don't have a mind of, for themselves. This is a person that will try anything like whatever or bring them money. It's, they're just worried about money and materialize things and doing things off of impulse. And this is that type of person never sitting down, never trying to deal with their shadow side to heal themselves. Looking at you to blame, they're coming for you to blame, but could even have some type of, you know, look at you in a way as, you know, you're beautiful or 
you know, that you look nice or something like that would even, you know, but it wouldn't be a wise idea, would even try to bait you in to like try to act like they're going to try to be, you know, of service to you, but really in a sense, really not really like you doing it all for the wrong reasons type person coming towards you for the wrong reasons type person. Like this person is like their mental is all over the place and they don't see anything but what you're doing. They're not trying to go heal themselves, pray to God, go fast, go do nothing. They just worried about what shipments are coming in for you. And it's driving them mentally unstable. They are already mentally unstable because this could be a person that have always been quick tempered or, you know, have always dealt with insecurities and jealousy and all of that and out, trying to outbeat people and one up people. And, but looking at everything that everybody else is doing outside of their domain, instead of looking inward and to get things and reach and grab things from in the inner spirit, they get it from outer surface base, superficial and, you know, they got to look good to the public and all this stuff. Well, this is a person and they're coming for you or could be coming to try to pretend like, hey, girl, we could come together and do this and do a job and, you know, something of that nature. But it's all just a, um, uh, a quick way to get in your energy or to see where you're at or to like, they, they got it out for you. Whomever's these people are, whether it's a man or a woman, um, both of them wants revenge in some type of way, thinking that you did something to them that, and they're just delusional. They made up in their mind to make you be, you know, they see it one way. They just not trying to see it no other way. And when you're over here, not even concerned of them, you've been working on yourself, healing, and, you know, spiritually you're progressing. And the light is like, it's showing. And these people don't like it. They feel that you get the things that you want and it's coming easily and yada, yada. And they don't know the hard work that you have put in and, you know, changing yourself and really healing yourself and not treating people ugly and all of that. These people are people that got a one track mind. They haven't been around you basically, possibly don't even really know, know, know you, but they're, they are seeking some type of revenge on you. They're mentally unstable. They really need some help, but they are refusing to think so, okay? So this is the kind of person that you're dealing with right now. <coughs> Lord, have mercy, and it is not cute. But anyway, guys, I will be back with some more. Bye.